Ben, I can't believe it's been 56 years since you had that opportunity to run for the House of Delegates. I was teaching fourth graders in Baltimore County. You were a senior in law school, never ever knowing that this would be our passion and career. You know, Myrna has been the honor of my life to represent the people of Maryland, and first in the Maryland General Assembly, then as Speaker of the House, later as a member of the House of Representatives, and now as a United States Senator. But it really started with our family. Our family instilled upon us our responsibilities for community service. I think that's true. We use the expression tikkun olam, repairing the world. We use it a lot. It's in our DNA. And I love the way you've taken that from our family to Annapolis, to Washington. It undergirds so much of what you do. You are my inspiration. Uh, when you headed the Maryland Committee for Soviet Jewry and helping Soviet Jews as I was going on to Washington to the House of Representatives, I had to come home every night and let you know what I was doing for Soviet <laughs> right. Jews. It's true. But you know, it gave me the ability to say that we can make our foreign policy stronger based upon our values. And it led to my efforts to enact the Magnitsky sanctions, which are international human rights sanctions against those who violate human rights. It's personal and it's been extremely effective. It's now the standard globally with Europe and UK and Canada adopting those standards. So I am proud that we were able to take that responsibility and turn it into a, a game changer in international human rights. But Ben, so many accomplishments you've had over the years, the environment, well, you know, the environment to me is also part of our responsibility to repair the world. Uh, climate change is real. Chesapeake Bay is iconic to Maryland, and I started working on the Chesapeake Bay when I was in the Maryland General Assembly, and I am proud of the partnerships that we've been able to create to protect the bay for future generations. But it also comes back to Sadaka, part of our tradition as Jews, to help those that are less fortunate. And it started with my first year in the Maryland General Assembly. You might remember this. I went to Rosewood State Hospital, with children with disabilities. They were being warehoused. It was outrageous. We needed to pay attention to our children and do better. And I, could I make a difference? I was a freshman member of the House of Delegates. Well, that same year, I went to a community meeting, and they needed a ball field for their little league. And there was a new high school, but they couldn't use the ball field because there was no fence around the field. So I picked up the phone and called the mayor of Baltimore. Lo and behold, he took my call. Two weeks later, there was a fence. It just taught me that I was in a position to make a difference and their needs were there. And I really wanted to get things done to help people. So that's really been, I think, the motivating force for me to try to get as much done as I can. But I think, Ben, you add such an important layer to accomplishments and substance. And that always makes me so, so proud. Well, it starts with our family, and so much is, is based upon integrity and trust. We trust each other. We know that we're going to uh, do things the right way. So in legislating, to me, it's important to listen. Listen to my colleagues, work with Democrats and Republicans, uh, be willing to work hard, being willing to recognize that you don't know everything, uh, but wanting to get results. It's, it's trust and it's civility. And you have that record. You took those values, and the record keeps going, Ben. Well, we talked about the Chesapeake Bay, but I am proud of the, the record we've done in regards to health care. Uh, be able to take a tragedy such as the death of a 12-year-old because he couldn't get dental coverage and turn that into a national policy for all of our children to have access to dental care, uh, to work to create a way in which you can have your testing for early detection of diseases under Medicare, we got retirement security done. You gave up a lot of dinner, so I got my retirement bills accomplished. Uh, we were able to get major uh, advancements in transportation for transit. I love the fact that we walk on the trails and know that I was responsible for getting some of those trails actually built through the transportation alternative program that, that I was the sponsor of. Helping small businesses through this pandemic, their survival depended upon Democrats and Republicans working together, and I was proud to be one of the leaders to make that a reality. So there's a lot that I've been able to get done uh, during my uh, legislative career, but Myrna, I still have work to do. I, I, I want to make sure that small businesses are protected in this really challenging environment. Uh, we got to take care of the Chesapeake Bay. We're not finished yet. Baltimore City needs some real attention, and I'm in a position to do some things to help in the healthcare arena. Uh, I want to make sure that we expand telehealth. Uh, I want to make sure we deal with behavioral health and mental health issues. So I still have a lot more work to do during these next two years. 
But Ben, I think it's time. It is time. It is time, and when this term ends, it'll be my last uh, years as an elected official. I will not seek re-election. Thank you, Marylanders. Thank you for giving me the opportunity in my life to represent you in the United States Senate. I've given my heart and soul uh, to trying to do my best, and I thank you for giving me that opportunity.